Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayal. Today is Monday, December the 23rd, 2013. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How great it is for us to receive the greetings of Jesus and give that to everyone throughout this day. As we continue our preparation for the celebration of, of the birthday of Jesus, let us continue our meditation on the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 11. Today, I invite you to focus on verse 27. Jesus says, All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and to those whom He chooses to reveal. What can we understand from this? God is eternal, all-powerful. He is our Heavenly Father. Jesus says, only the Father knows the Son, and Son knows the Father. And to those to whom the Son chooses to reveal. God sent the Son in order to reveal the Father to all of us. That's why Jesus taught us to pray, Our Father. <clears throat> Not calling Him, O oh God, Eternal God. But Jesus wants us to call him our Father, because God is our Father. More than our earthly parents, God is involved in our creation. God is concerned about us more than our earthly parents can ever be concerned about ourselves. <clears throat> God is concerned. He causes our birth and He causes our sustenance, our daily existence. He has a perfect plan for our life. That's why He created and sustains us. In Jeremiah, He says, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. God created us with his perfect plan. How great it is for us to go to God through Jesus Christ and receive his plan, the revelation of his plan for, our, for us individually and collectively so that we can indeed <clears throat> fulfill his plan. Our temptation is to go according to our plan or the plan of our family and community. But God's plan is more important than our own family plan or our own plan for ourselves or the plan the family has for us, the community has for us. Because God's plan is eternal. He created us in his eternal plan. And he wants us to live according to his eternal plan, reach heaven. Throughout this day, let us praise God for sending his beloved son, Jesus Christ, that he may reveal to us who the Father is. Would you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for sending your beloved son to teach us about you, reveal your amazing love for us. Lord Jesus Christ, we glorify you for being born as a little baby in the manger and growing up teaching a lot of lessons about heaven, showing kindness and greatness and goodness through the miracles you worked, dying on the cross to demonstrate how much you love us. Oh, precious Lord, continue to abide within us, revealing your 
eternal father our eternal father to us oh holy spirit we praise you we glorify you for giving us all sorts of great inspiration every day every moment continue to give us the fire of your love continue to give us the delight of your presence we ask this blessing father in the name of jesus amen <laughs>